YouTube, what's going on? East New York's Finest, hosted by Mike. So, what happened was, Saturday, I mean, I mean I'm sorry, Sunday, I purchased uh, a huge 60-something, you could say, you could basically say almost a, se actually a 71 box piece Barbie collection uh, between two people. I got, I probably got about 50-something from this one dude, I forgot his name, I didn't even catch his name. And then another 10 or so from Ralph, the same guy I got the mask stuff from. I'm always kind of excited to do a Ralph and always Kenny because Kenny's prices are phenomenally, ridiculously great, if there's a such word. <clears throat> and Ralph um, was selling his Bobbies real cheap just considering the fact that I guess he just wanted to get rid of them and he didn't want to deal with them. So, great. And I just sold it. Uh, I posted it on Sunday when I came home Sunday when I was unloading the truck, putting everything in the garage. I just basically took about an hour out of my time and uh, I set up the tables and I put all the Bobbies up there, took pictures of them, and I posted them at 1200 I thought 12 was a little, and 12 wasn't steep for a collector, but most people that go on Facebook Marketplace are resellers. So, anyway, it's a Mexican lady by the name of, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna mention her name, but she lives in a Union City, uh, she called me, uh, well, she contacted me last night, and the certain questions she asked me, I knew she was serious, but I had somebody else who was serious um, with it too, and he's what I came around 2 today, then 2 turns at around 4, 4.30, so I told her uh, the time, because um, they both had things they had to take care of, and it, just, it was just meant for her, so she got here before he did, and they came in an Uber, her and her son. And it took a bigger Uber van or Jeep or whatever to take all this stuff home. Make a long story short, she paid me what I wanted for it. And I didn't even argue or try to lowball me. Just the price I had it up there for, she, she paid it. And I was cool with that. Um, so outside of that, I did go thrifting today. Uh, what did I get? I got some uh, Super Soakers. I try to get Nerf Guns and Super Soakers when they're cheap. Because, like, you know, the next year coming up, I will have a whole bunch of that stuff. Especially Super Soakers because, you know... You know the heat. Everybody want to you know you know cool down. So what better way to cool down than um, water guns? So I'm already starting that a little earlier than I normally did last year. Um, what else I got? I got a couple of shirts that I, I hopefully I can try to sell. Some advertising shirts. Um, I got a big um, Ultimate Guide um, USMC abbreviated for United States Marine Corps um, book that just gives you the whole history of. Uh, the Marine Corps is about that thick, huge, heavy. The book probably weighs about eight eight pounds. Um, yeah, damn. <laughs> no, probably about six. About six or so. It just seems like it weighs more because of the awkwardness of how big and bulky the book is. And then I got these. Um, I did miss some stuff. Obviously, I heard a, a bag that had a couple of Thundercats in it came out. So I did get this. Um, I got this little bag of Smurfs. And I got this bag of wrestlers. So this bag did come out in the cart later. Um, Pop Pablo actually gave me this bag here. So we're gonna go through that bag first. I'm actually I, I'm actually not gonna be doing this video long because I have salmon in the oven. And I figure by the time I finish this video and load it up, it should be done. The rice is already done. I made like a vegetable rice. Not, not, that, not that you guys out there give a crap, but uh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to say it anyway. Um, so real quick. Oh, snap. I forgot to say what this bag went for. Um, so, yeah, first thing I grabbed. I mean, well, I ain't grab. Uh, Pablo grabbed this bag, and he's like, yo, you want this? And I was like, yeah. I saw a couple of figures in there, and I was like, yeah, sure. Um, some crap is in here. Uh, what was the, How much was the bag? I already ripped the damn thing up. It was $4.99. Yep, four ninety nine. Uh, let's see if I can. I should have showed you that at first. Sorry about that, but four ninety nine. There are some crappy stuff in here, so I'm not gonna even mention that stuff. Like these wooden things, I'll probably throw these away or just put them in a bag to give to somebody else. Cause I, I got a lady who buys off of me, so I'll probably just put that aside. Um, there are some of these Imaginex style figures in here as well so I want to keep in those so I can put with the other stuff um, you know they, they, they don't know about this stuff so they just 
throw whatever and whatever. And you know, you got these little bit of Imagine X guys. These sell pretty pretty decent for me. Alright. Um, then we have a couple of Star Wars figures in here. Hmm, interesting. I don't know. I know who maybe two out of these three guys are, and then I know these, so. Alright, out of five of these, I can definitely identify three out of five. Obviously, you got Luke Skywalker. We got um, Finn. C3PO. I think this maybe it doesn't really look like him, but I'm guessing that's going to be Poe Dameron. This guy does seem familiar. Um, seem familiar. I just don't know where from. His head. Oh, okay. I'm about to say his head looks like it's glued. But whatever. I think that is Doe Pat. I mean Poe Dameron. I said Doe Panamaran. <laughs> nah, this is just junk. And then uh, these are cool. These are the uh, multiverse. The Mattel Multiverse um, DC figures. This is back when uh, when Mattel was still doing them. Uh, pretty cool, actually. Oh, here's another one of those Imagine X guys. They, they actually sell, so. Then we have Aquaman. So we basically have the whole Justice League. I actually know Flash is missing. Then we have Steppenwolf. I, I don't remember if Steppenwolf is a builder figure or not. Um, I gotta look it up. But here's Steppenwolf. Here is Aquaman. Then we have Wonder Woman. No sword, but you know we got Wonder Woman here. We got Cyborg. Then we got Batman and Superman. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, I got to bag and tag these because I bag and tag everything. So that way when I put them in bins, they won't get messed up or I don't have to worry about uh, paint rub and all that stuff. So that's something I've been doing lately. Um, since I don't need these, I'll put this back downstairs. I'll put these in here to take outside. Put this stuff, you know, put this stuff accordingly. All right. Then this bag here was actually a dollar ninety nine. It has a, maybe five or six Smurfs in here. So yeah, again, I'm not going to go through the trouble looking some things up. Most likely take the tag off. Then this bag was also four ninety nine. Do you have a box with trading? What? A box like the thing that you turned on. It should be well, maybe it was one downstairs in the living room. Uh, you know I don't have one, it's not there. Then I got this bag of wrestling crap for like five bucks. Let's see. This is the first wrestling bag I've gotten in probably since the summer. Um, I know Pop. I know Pablo's been grabbing a lot of them because I, I wasn't there. Um, nobody grabbed this one. I actually was the first. I was the first responder to this. So this bag is already ripped up. So all right. So we got ladders. Ladders. And I have a lady who buys from me for her grandchild, um, older chick, real nice though, really, really polite, uh, ironically, she likes buying from me, and her grandson actually likes me, so, I, it's funny, I get along very well with, with people's, even people have malicious animals, I get, I get along very well with animals, older people and kids. It's the guys in their twenties and thirties, the ones that I just I just can't. You know, I, I just can't. Well, you got there's a lot of accessories here. Money in a money in a bank. Uh, 
suitcase, different wrestling belts. I mean, a piece of a table, well, I guess two pieces of tables that, well, break, breakaway or breakthrough tables. Tables, ladders, and chairs, right? And this is from 2010. Just put that together. Then we also have a black one as well. So there's a good chance more stuff might come out tomorrow. You know, because, I, you know, like, I mean, I don't know what came out today. But here's another chair, another breakaway. Put your wrestlers through this. So you got... Tables and ladders. Where are the chairs? No chairs in here. Oh, yep, yeah, there's a chair. Oh, there's two chairs. Alright, so we got table, ladders, and chairs. That's pretty cool. They all say WW on them. So I'm trying to accumulate a lot of this stuff for her because she buys. And she has no problem spending three or four hundred dollars on this kid. And she has so. Anyway, there's the accessories, uh, stop, stop sign, all that jibber jabber. So yeah, buddy. I'm gonna individually do these. So here, this is a basic. Um, I think this is Roman Reigns, right? Basic Roman Reigns, I think. Then we have here an Elite uh, Triple H. A newer one because he's bald headed now. I mean, I don't know how new. This guy, I have no idea who the hell he is, but he got some banging ass shorts on. Well, well pants. Tights. What we want to call them. I gotta look all these up. Um, then you got the, It says Brute, but I don't know if that's his name. Or if he just goes by the name Brute. But he's a, he's a basic figure, but nice. This is why I love the Mattel figures. I like the different sizes and variations on how they do their stuff versus Jack Specifics just being lazy. Oh, uh, this is definitely the Miz. I know who that is. This is a basic Miz. Then here we have... I don't know who this guy is. He looks like a mix between Tajiri and a chubby honky-tonk man. I don't know who this cat is, but I know you guys do. But he is an elite. Then we definitely... I know who this is. We even look at the front. Shawn Michaels. This is a basic Shawn Michaels. I'm not your boy toy. And this is definitely Kurt Angle. It's true. It's damn true. You suck. And this is a basic um, Kurt Angle. So yeah, five bucks for this bag. Take that all day. And then uh, five hours for those uh, for those Mattel uh, multiverse, well, DC multiverse uh, figures, definitely great, then I got this also, I think yesterday, um, Vinny Vu gave this to me, South Park, the, uh, was it, the fractured but whole, I gotta look this up to see if it's cool, if it's cool, I'll probably keep it, if not, I'll probably just put it in my, put it in my uh, accumulate pile, anyway, told you it's gonna be a quick video, peace.